All right, just getting here to PGA Demo Day. One of my favorite days of the year. To me, it's like a holiday. Yeah, it's kind of like Christmas. <laughs> it's like a pick a holiday. Yeah, it's like Christmas for the golf world. I'm doing a little iron shopping because yeah. my gamers right now, the old JPX 850s, yeah. there's better technology. Absolutely. And what, yeah. what are you looking for in particular? You know what? I'm just here to have a good time and see what's available. Patrick's looking for iron covers. Iron covers? Yeah, he wants some iron covers, he said. <laughs> oh, There's man. a new thing, right? It's yeah. going to be 2020. Year oh, of the man. iron cover. Year of the iron cover. It's freaking cold as, as can yeah. be. And the wind is blowing at about 30 miles an hour yeah. constant with 40 mile an hour gusts. So not exactly ideal conditions, but it's still Christmas. Can you tell it's cold down here? <laughs> Look at these two guys. <laughs> oh! 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 I don't know. I don't think I like the looks of these. But yeah, the looks are really pretty. Got it set up neutral, nine degree. Oh, yeah. Geez. Are you kidding me? Nice. Wow, that's something you won't believe what this felt. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not even joking. Wade Neller. Oh, we're going to get rid of the Epic. It's Maverick. Yeah, is that you're, you're, you're done, you're selling? Oh, oh lovely. I've never that seen you hit straighter too. in my life. That was a miss hit. Tanya, eat your heart out. Kind of. Whoa. Kind of. I know, I bet you should look at it. Hey! And so for years I've played Mizuno irons. I, my first ever were Tzoids, um, probably back in like the late 90s, early 2000s, mm -hmm. I want to say. Then I moved on to the MP33s when I got a little better. Uh, and then I moved, I moved back into what I have now, which is the JPX 850s. Uh, we're a little bit more forgiving. Yeah. So uh, I'm really interested in the hot metals, but take us through the whole line and, and what's special and unique about each club. Sure. Well, this past fall, we launched the MP20 line. Um, three models, well, four including a lefty, but really it's just a combo set of two. But so three distinct heads. Got your true muscle bag, the MP20. Got the multi-material cavity MM, MP20 MMC. And then this one that's really taken off for us, MB20 HMB, hot metal blade. Um, what I like about it is it, it kind of gives you the look of like a blade, but it's also, it's 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 a hollow bodied club, isn't it's it? It's a hollow bodied club, so it's a forged chromoly neck and face. Yeah. And then a stainless steel body welded on two twin ten, uh, twin tungsten gram weights in there. Uh, extremely, extremely forgiving, but still has much more of a player's look. So right. it could really be for you know, a low single digit player can use this or it can really go up to a, you know, a 12 to 14 player. Sure. Um, so very playable. And that's a new model you just released. I mean, you had, cause you had a previous generation of this, right? We've done clubs like this in the past, an MPH4, H5. Yeah. Uh, then we've always had the fly highs, long iron replacements. This is a full set. I would say the H4 and H5 were, they were great clubs and might've been a little ahead of their time. You know, this sure. player's distance category right. has really taken off now. Right. And. Uh, so we really came out with this club at the right time and it's taken off for us tremendous feel the one thing that's very unique about all three of these models is the copper underlay what's the benefit of the copper underlay then it, it's just a, it's feel it's no, feel it's not really performance okay. benefit. it's just yeah. it's feel it's a little bit longer vibration pattern and impact so just creates a little bit better yeah. sound and feel to the to the you know picky player like a tour player nothing feels like a mizuno that's it really right. rings true with those huh? <laughs> so i mean the the how we landed on that was so two years ago at the valse bar in Tampa, we um, that's typically where we do some MP iron testing just because the way it works out. 
and um, we had this head shape dialed in, so we had blank blades that looked just like this. Yeah. One with copper, one without. Really? We tested ten tour players. All ten of them chose the one with copper. Really? Yeah. Wow. Ten so, for ten. JPX 919 series. We only brought the tour out here with us. But, okay. Um, yep. You know, that's the got one we'll like highlight. Four different models of this one, basically, right? Four different. Yeah. yeah. We got the 919 Tour, 919 Hot Metal, 919 Hot Metal Pro, and the 919 Forge. Um, the tour has been phenomenal for us. It's currently played by the number one player in the world, um, and a couple other guys Brooks on Kepka, tour as well. In case you don't know. <laughs> Yeah, we've been really happy with the success of what separates the tour from the from the pro from the hot metal. So the hot metal is a uh, a cast chromoly material. Yep. Uh, just like we brought into the hot metal pro, that's a forged chromoly. This was a cast, so it's a little bit harder, but a little bit more uh, a little hotter face. Sure. Hot metal pro is just a slightly condensed mod or version of that. Right. Uh, to enter that player's distance category that we did last year, we introduced that model last year at the show. Right. It's done really well for us. The Hot Metal, Hot Metal Pro are our top two selling irons. I bet, yeah. Um, I tried one out and I, I think I gained 10 yards with, <laughs> without an exaggeration. Yeah, and, it's, yeah. and the, the big thing is, you know, when we make a very forgiving golf club, we don't make it massive. Right. It's still a very somewhat compact shape. It yep. could really be geared for, uh, you know, it still captures the be right. better player's eye. Yeah, you don't see the cavity back club. even if you're looking at it and the top line is always pretty thin, mm -hmm. which is nice. And then the 919 Forge model is something that sort of fits right in between. It's very similar in size to the Hot Metal Pro, yeah. but it's a Forge uh, uh, 1025B, the boron forging that we introduced years ago with adding a trace of boron into the material to make it about 30% stronger. Wow. Actually harder, sure. stronger, so we can go thinner on the face, right. get a little bit hotter, hotter ball speed. Jeff, <laughs> I appreciate your time, man. All it's right. been fascinating so to much. learn about the line and I'm ready to go hit a few. You ready, Pat? I'd play all day. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Jeff, I think you might have just sold me my next set of irons. No, I really like the 919 Taurus. That was a bad swing, but still pretty forgiving. I'm gonna take one more for the road here. All right, do you take uh, cash, check, or card? <laughs> Whatever you got. That was Thank awesome, man. <laughs> nice to meet you. you. Bet. Thank yeah. you. There it is, Pat. There it is. All right, so uh, yeah, tell us a little about your iron offerings. Yeah, so two new irons as part of the TR-29, TR-20 P and V. Mm -hmm. P in our language means pocket cavity, so you can okay. see the cavity down there. Yeah, right. So a thin face, forged body, a lot of tungsten in the sole. Right. It's really a, a player's iron mm -hmm. with player's distance lofts and some great game improvement features. So this iron, in terms of the size and the shape, we really worked hard to get it to be, it's basically as big as a tour player would look at. Anything right. bigger than they won't, sure. right? But it's big enough for the market to use. Right. So that was important. We wanted to kind of cross that bridge. Yeah. And then we've got a traditional one-piece forge cavity in the TR-20B. I mean, you can see the design language is the same. Sure. <clears throat> so you can yeah, you kind of have a mixed set if you want. Right. Totally. Short irons here, long irons there. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell the two unless you really knew what you were looking for, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a traditional forging single piece, like I said, but it's got modern lofts, stronger lofts. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really got some players' distance characteristics, but both of them have enough weighting in the sole to get the ball up in the air yeah. and have good trajectory. Yeah. All right, I am with Doug Field, Global Marketing Director for Wilson Staff. Fun fact, Doug, my favorite club in my bag is a C300 Hybrid that I bought about a year and a half ago. Love that thing. And I'd love to learn more about the line and what you guys are doing at Wilson Staff. definitely need to get more clubs in your bag. Yeah. Okay. You guys sell me on them, sell me yeah, on them. Yeah, so of course. So 
kind of where we like to play is in that super game improvement to players to, to game right. improvement category. That's where 85% of people buy those items. Sure. So, and that's really where we're an iron company. That's where we love to play. Right. We definitely have our staff model blades that came out this year. Yeah, they're which beautiful. Which are gorgeous. Too. So Gary Woodland's in those blades. Yep. You know, Brendan Steele's in those. Actually, Kevin Toy um, has to tested test those too. Ricky Barnes just moved into those. Yeah. So, cool. Great playing, a playable blade. Yeah, right. so really what, and we're getting a lot of people out here at the show. It's really, really interesting. What is so, this here? Just that's just actually a, a fluid, weight out. It's a fluid field. Uh, it's actually bore through. Yeah. Which, yeah. It takes weight out. It allows us to put right. weight. It also is a vibration kind of dampener between okay. the shaft and the end of the glove. It's important so with a blade because I've had a few misfits yeah, out here in the cold and yeah. it hasn't been fun. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But it's, it's a technology we, we've had forever in our in our, in our top end yeah. um, irons and our blades especially. And, and so we brought that as, as part of the line because it works. Yeah. You know, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. We are focused on this year, like I said, you know, the super game improvement, game improvement, and then the player's distance category. So this year we've come out with our D7 4 which is a sister product to our D7. So yeah. this is a forged face. Yep. The cool thing about this is this is a player's club. When you look at it, it's got a small top line, it's got very little offset, but it's got distance technology. So the power holes provide that distance. Right. The face compresses, you get, you're able to get some high CORs yeah, off of there. Looking club. And some forgiveness as well. Right. It spreads the it spreads the wealth across the face. So we're talking space. about like a ten handicap, maybe up a little. I bit I would more say or? anywhere from a six to probably about eleven. Okay. Twelve handicap. So that's, that's it's totally gonna, in a player's category. As you know, yeah, there's a lot of guys out there that yeah. that want a player's iron. They want right. to be have that look down. The sure. Floor, but they need a little bit of help. Right. So that's me. I'm right so, in that category. I'm yeah. Three point nine at the moment. There you go. Yep. So you'd be perfect in that. So we're excited about that. Other end of the spectrum, we have the launch pad, which is super game improvement. Now, there's a lot of yeah, that's super. Look at that. there's a lot of people wow. playing hollow irons these yeah, days, right? right? So there's I've a, there's the a nice body. acceptance of right. these hollow, bi hollow yep. body irons. Yep. That's big. With the hollow body, you're able to actually get a lot more strength in the face because it's all the all the all the strength is actually you know taken in sure. by the entire uh, structure of the of right. the iron itself. Yep. This is actually for a very niche player. Sure. We, we engineered this player for that player. You, we all see him. The guy who hits it fat, right? The guy who hits more, they can't get the ball up in the air. Right. Born and forward is all we want to try yep. to do. Okay. And they can't do that. So yep. a lot of things that we put into this, this is a seven iron. So, and this is a full iron set, not a hybrid iron set, okay. we call it. So it's got a large radius on the, on the actual sole right. to glide over the turf. The key is though, it's the leading edge. So it, it, the, the generous bouncing on the leading edge. So. What it is is designed to actually help you hit it thin. Right. So that guy who's taking turf, he's sure. going to hit it perfect. He's going to come across. He's going to have less chance of right. grabbing dirt before the ball. Nice. And it's low CG, so that ball is going to. You'd be surprised right. that you know, there's a number of guys, better players, they put those in their bag and they like the four iron stuff, they let, <laughs> and the things just launch. Alright, so long from the PGA show. What did you think, Wade? I don't know. I'm still thawing out, man. <laughs> it was just cold. cold and windy. We did it for you guys oh, on YouTube because man. if it was up to me, I would have stayed home this morning. Yeah. <laughs> but I love Wilson and Mizuno. I think I'm now I'm torn. The 919 Mizunos, the tour, the ones that Kepka's playing, and those those blades that that they just came out with from Wilson's staff. Both of those, it's hard to pick between them. I love them both. I will say this, you know, I saw those Wilsons last year, and they were uh, they were outstanding. Well, at least it was a different model, and they're making really good clubs. That's that's amazing to me. That yeah. Their company's doing something right. And the Maverick driver impressed me. Oh man, the buttery feel of that thing. Yeah, I've never like felt a driver that felt that good. It was just like it was an extension of my arm. Yeah. 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 How about you, Pat? What was the what was your favorite swing of the day? Well, none that I made. Uh, <laughs> you went to uh, Wilson. I hit a few of those blades and I hit some pretty bad ones. But the two that I struck out the, out the middle, they did fall pretty good. Yeah. 